bizarre crime that became an overnight media sensation, captivated the nation back in 1996. The tragic death of John Benet Ramsey is a case that to this day, still intrigues America. Named after her father, John Bennett, and her mother Patricia, John Benet Patricia Ramsey was born on August 6, 1990, in Atlanta, Georgia. The youngest of two children, John Benet was an outgoing Southern girl who enjoyed being the center of attention. By age six, she had already won multiple beauty pageant titles, thanks to her bouncy blonde hair, poised smile and glittery costumes. Her father, a multimillionaire businessman, and her mother, who was also a former beauty queen, doted on their daughter in every way they could. They were a happy family but in December 1996, their lives would be completely upended. Around 5.30 a.m. on the morning of December 26, 1996, in Boulder, Colorado, Patsy Ramsey found a ransom note on the back staircase inside their house, demanding $118,000 for her six-year-old daughter, John Benet. Despite the note's warning to not involve the police, Patsy called 911 at 5.52 a.m. to report John Benet is missing. The only people who were at the house during John Benet's apparent kidnapping were her immediate family, Patsy and John Ramsey and their son Burke. After the police had arrived at the house, they searched the residence but found nothing unusual at the time. In a strange turn of events, less than eight hours after her abduction, the body of John Benet was found in a spare room in the basement, inside the Ramsey residence. John Ramsey was the one to find the body. She was found with duct tape over her mouth, her hands tied above her head, a nylon cord around her neck and was covered by a white blanket. However, before the discovery of the body, the Ramseys allowed some of their friends to come into their home for support. The guests had touched and moved things around so much that the crime scene was contaminated. John had also moved his daughter's body from the basement, which was another crucial mistake. According to the autopsy, John Bonet was bludgeoned to death, but the county coroner later ruled that she was likely strangled to death. A paintbrush from Patsy's hobby kit was used to tighten the rope that strangled John Bonet. DNA was found on John Bonet's nightwear and on her underwear. Authorities also found two sets of unidentified footprints at the crime scene. Oddly, a rope was found near John Bonet's bedroom that did not belong to the Ramseys. It was never found out if someone had actually broken into the house. With no signs of forced entry, suspicion quickly fell on John Bonet's parents. The ransom note was what triggered their suspicions. It was unusually long and oddly worded. Not only did the strangely specific amount of the ransom match the exact amount of bonus pay John received from his employer, but the pen and paper used for the ransom note were found to be from inside the Ramsey house. Handwriting samples were taken from the Ramseys, and John Ramsey was ruled out as the author of the note, but police could not eliminate Patsy Ramsey as the writer. Reportedly, there was also evidence that pointed towards a person who might have written a practice note. Police took hair and blood samples from members of the Ramsey family. The DNA found on John Benet's clothes were cross-checked with those of the Ramsey family members, but there was no match. It was concluded that the DNA belonged to an unidentified male. Three days after the murder, the Ramseys went back to their former hometown of Atlanta. John Bonet's parents gave a 45-minute long interview to CNN, where they claimed that a killer was on the loose, a claim that was strongly argued against by the police. Boulder City investigators went to the Atlanta home of the Ramseys to search for clues, and served a search warrant on their summer home in Michigan. Nothing of significance was found. After 15 months of investigation, the Boulder police decided the best way to solve the murder was a grand jury investigation. On September 16, 1998, five months after they were chosen, Boulder County grand jurors began their investigation. They heard forensic evidence, analysis of handwriting, DNA evidence, and hair and fiber evidence. After a year-long grand jury investigation, District Attorney Alex Hunter announced that no charges will be filed and no one will be indicted for the murder of John Benet Ramsey due to lack of supporting evidence. In spite of the grand jury decision, members of the Ramsey family continued to remain under suspicion in the media. The Ramseys adamantly proclaimed their innocence from the very beginning. 
In March 1997, retired homicide detective Lou Smith, who solved the Heather Dawn Church murder in Colorado Spring, was hired to head the investigation team. Smith's investigation eventually pointed to an intruder as the perpetrator, which conflicted with the DA's theory that someone in the family was responsible for John Benet's death. The police and the prosecutors followed leads for intruders, partly due to the unidentified boot mark left in the basement room where John Benet's body was found. Hundreds of DNA tests were performed to find a match to the DNA recovered during her autopsy. Smith assessed the evidence and concluded that an intruder had committed the crime. Smith's theory was that someone entered the Ramsey home through the broken basement window. But this theory was widely criticized as there was evidence that pointed to the contrary. However, there were multiple suspects in the case such as Bill McReynolds, the Ramsey's neighbor, a man named Michael Helgoth, who died in an apparent suicide shortly after John Bonet's death, and Gary Howard Oliva, a registered sex offender. However, none of these people have ever been charged. One of the most famous suspects was John Carr. He was arrested in 2006 when he falsely confessed to killing John Bonet by accident, after he had drugged and sexually assaulted her. Carr was eventually dismissed as a suspect after it was revealed that no drugs had been found in John Bonet's system, and police could not confirm he was in Boulder at the time, and his DNA did not match the profile generated from the samples found. He was however, kept on their radar. One theory that was floating around was that Patsy struck John Bonet in a fit of rage after a bedwetting episode, and strangled her to cover up what had happened, after mistakenly thinking she was already dead. However, Patsy did not have a known history of uncontrolled anger, and John Bonet's brother later said that he and his sister were never spanked, or hit by their parents, let alone be killed by one of them. In March 1998, police interviewed John and Patsy Ramsey a second time, and did an extensive interview with their 11-year-old son Burke, who was reported as a possible suspect by some in the press. An investigation of the 911 call made by Patsy on the morning of John Bonet's murder, revealed that Burke's voice could be heard in the background, even though she said he was asleep until after police arrived. In May 1999, the Boulder County District Attorney's Office reiterated that Burke Ramsey was not a suspect. When John Bonet's murder became a subject of national interest, multiple news outlets and TV channels tried to capitalize on the growing focus on the case. In doing so, they made multiple statements suggesting that the Ramsey family was involved in the murder. This led to a slew of defamation lawsuits filed by the Ramsays and their friends against several unnamed media outlets. In May 2003, an Atlanta federal judge dismissed a civil lawsuit against John and Patsy Ramsey saying there was no evidence showing the parents killed John Bonet, and abundant evidence that an intruder killed the child. The judge criticized the police and the FBI for creating a media campaign designed to make the family look guilty. In 2006, Boulder District Attorney Mary Lacey took over the case. She agreed with the federal prosecutor that the intruder theory was more plausible than the Ramsays killing their daughter. In 2008, Lacey released a statement detailing the DNA evidence and fully exonerating the Ramsey family, saying that the suspicions surrounding the Ramsey family were not based on evidence that had been tested in court, rather, they were based on evidence reported by the media. In 2010, the case was officially reopened with renewed focus on the DNA samples. Further testing was conducted on the samples, and experts now believe that the sample is actually from two individuals rather than one. In 2016, CBS aired the case of John Benet Ramsey, which implied her then nine-year-old brother Burke was the killer, despite the fact he was cleared by the DNA evidence that proved the existence of an intruder. Burke filed a $750 million lawsuit against CBS for defamation. The case was settled out of court in 2019. Patsy Ramsey had succumbed to a long battle with ovarian cancer in 2005, without ever learning the truth about her daughter's murder. And John Ramsey lost most of his fortune fighting lawsuits and paying for their legal counsel. The trauma caused by the death of their daughter was too much to bear for the Ramsey family. More than 24 years later, the case of John Benet Ramsey still remains unsolved, but the investigation into her death continues to be an active homicide case. If you have any thoughts or information you'd like to share about the John Bonet case, leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and we hope you found our video interesting.
Like, comment and subscribe for more fascinating unsolved mysteries.